You ready? Right behind you. Good. Are we ready then? Well, I suppose so. It's right around here, isn't it? Big from down here. I mean, it is big, but like even bigger. Yeah. I was just about to say, part of me, if I don't respond, I don't exactly have the loudest voice ever. Oh. I did get the spray out of my face. like the place. Well, that didn't work. Ooh, that's a tough one. Anything you want to tell me about your family skeletons? Never mind. Nobody likes it when the assassin makes jokes. Well, that was off. We may need to get closer. I cannot aim reliably from here. Something that'll teach you. Nice. Although the uh, reanimation is a little much. Oh well. Anyone else? It doesn't look like it. I think the sun's starting to come up. Sorry. Eh. Right. I did pick one of these up for a reason. I don't want to make that mistake again. The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just... Be glad you weren't here then. <laughs> you know, I do come from Valenwood. Let me tell you. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Oh. was going to say. The wind blew just wrong on some days and you could smell the entire swamp. Not a good thing. That'll 
do it. Yeesh. What's this? You know, under other circumstances... Yes. what did you need? I was just thinking, under other circumstances... She and I might have gotten along. However... Not today. I hear skeletons. Good. If I could find my way through here, we'd be great. Yes? What did you need? Well, some assistance, perhaps. Navigation inside is not actually my strong suit. Oh, this is where we came in, isn't it? Of course it is. Raises the question, where am I going? Oh. That'll do it. Take a left up here. This is one of those weird double barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. More if we follow paranoid. Follow that path around, we can find the other switch. Was he ever less paranoid? Well, that didn't work. Who's there? I hear more of them. That'll teach you. Nice. We've got more though. Yep. Careful. Ooh. Your man here scared the crap out of me. Or something. Oh. Well, that's nice. Uh. You know, I think Arden will be happy he didn't take this job. Architecture be damned. what I need with a potion of cure disease considering between being a vampire and a Bosmer I think I've pretty much got all situations covered there Yuck. 
And yet, being both a vampire and a Bosmer, I can still get poisoned. Isn't that something? Ugh. You know, I kind of thought that was another skeleton dropping down from the ceiling. And I'm sure I just took a wrong turn. Again. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I'm getting lost again. Jeez. Hey, Serana. And she's vanished. Helpful. There you are. So far, this hasn't been too bad. Did you spend a lot of time down here? I like to explore. My parents almost never let me off the island, so yeah, I poked around down here a lot. It was a little... quieter back then. Guess a little vampire girl was enough to scare off the rats. Sounds... like you were a weird little kid. Which I admire, considering... I was. But I think I turned out okay. Good. Are we ready then? I think so. This leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. Will do. I was going to ask about the plethora of skeletons in there, but... Yeah, well. We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What? What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. I'm expecting that's exactly what this happened. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. Oh. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. Well, it's a good thing I know an archaeologist. This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? Yes, I She do. would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Wait. Oh, what's that thing? Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I think you may be right. Before I go hunting them down... I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Well, yes. I was going to ask about your mother, but... Your family in general seems... Interesting. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. I see. Were you close with either of them? My father... No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like?
My father wasn't really in the picture. My blood father. My mother was... a spinner. So she was a bit strange, but she was good people and... I miss them. I haven't really spoken about them in decades, probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. It's okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Probably for the best. But yes, my mother used to keep a, a shrine back in Valenwood. So I do know what something looks like after it's been tended by a master for hundreds of years. That's where I was going with that. Why is it all worn down? It is a very old place. Ours is a very old line. And that is why we speak to very old gods. Yes, that is what you are. I found one. Let's see. I'm sure having the Bosmer with one eye be the one to search for these things is not necessarily the best idea, but I'll do what I can. Oh, hello? You're up, Ingrath. We can't afford to be not sloppy. Not be rude, but... You only have one eye. How can you even aim? I listen. You listen? Well, how's that going to help me? I'm not an elf. First rule of being an assassin, girl. Silence is our battle cry. Well, there's two. What are we missing? like three, two or three maybe. Did you know she was the listener? No, but it doesn't surprise me. She outranks you now. How do you but feel? You must be very, All life very is a song, quiet. gentlemen. And listen. To hear the echoes of the gods, you must listen without using your ears. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does it not? Clever, mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Interesting. Sorry. Oh. I'm right in my blind spot. I just have a feeling about this place. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. You mean besides bones and blood that looks remarkably fresh, actually? Bodes well, doesn't it? Ah, yep. Stay on your guard. You're dead. Careful. Well, I'm surprised that hasn't caved in yet. 
I'm not ardent, but it looks suspicious to me. Well. Gargoyle. Things are the worst. So, we'll be watching for skeletons, draugr, and gargoyles. Sounds great. This would be easier if I didn't have a bow in my hands, but whatever. That'll do. Dusty old closet and not much else. Fun. The needle. Not to be rude, but not to be rude, but you only have one eye. Someday How you'll be a better shot aim? than me. I should hope so. I still have both eyes. This one still has both eyes, Red, which is more than she can say for you. A loot? Stay on your guard. Be careful of flying weaponry. They nearly hit me in the face. There's one. Missed. Yeah, come here. Not like that. Tough day for you. Done and done. You alright? Yeah, 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 I know. It'll take more than a few arrows to down a vampire lord, am I right? This strikes me as... Mildly suspicious. Well, die. That was fun. Anyone down here? Nope. 
I hate gargoyles. Right behind you. Your mother didn't keep these around for some reason, did she? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Don't worry, I wasn't thinking it. Lead on. Uh-huh. Who oh, is a big one? Well, I got a few hits in. That didn't work. Stay on your guard. Nice. Now that's an old set. For the record, I have no idea where I'm going. Whoa. That's a lot of old... swords. I think we found the armory. So that didn't do much. Oh. You know, I didn't realize until just now that that's a statue of Mara. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Understood. Now if only I could figure out my way through this place. This is new. And full of bones. As usual. This looks like fun. first. Where'd you come from? What do you think? I still remember how to fight. 
sorry. I'm a little concerned about the ones perched on me. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Wait. Oh boy. these things. I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. Undoubtedly. It's not through one of the coffins, is it? <laughs> We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I had this awful idea to get Art in that set of armor as a joke. Leave it to my mother. Always smarter than I gave her credit for. Well. That is how it usually goes, isn't it? You don't realize how bright your parents were until you outgrow them. Oh. I think we found it. Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? That's a great question. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. No, really. Let's take really. a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Well, that might take a while. The mother maintained quite a laboratory. Any ideas where it might be? I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. What did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Fair point. Were you always a vampire? I assume not, but... That's... a long story. Do you want to talk about it? I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? <laughs> My guess would be a Daedric Lord, but I don't know much about it. Exactly. The first oh. vampire came from Molag Bal. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. Yeah, I got For that For those part. willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Interesting. That says something about our mutual acquaintance, doesn't it? So how did you actually become a vampire, then? The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. That sounds... You know, coming from a family different Daedric Lord. Anyway, how has it affected you? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. You ever think about curing yourself? A cure? Why even think of it that way? 
I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. I'd ask myself the same question, but I know the answer. Daedra Hardy. Great. Now I have to find notes. This looks promising, doesn't it? Yeesh. If not for the fact that most of these are ruined, I bet Arden would have a heyday in here. Oh. Hello. Huh. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, and soul gem shards. Nice. Found it. Any luck yet? Yep, I think so. You did? Let me see them. What's the soul cairn that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Oh. Why did she care where used souls went? The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. So, if she made it there, that's where we'll find her, right? That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. What do we need? That's the... bone meal such, right? A handful of soul gem shards, yep. some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts... Oh, damn it. What? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. You're her daughter. You share her blood, do you not? Hmm. Not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. You think all those ingredients are here? Or are we about to go on a wild soul gem shard chase? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Oh, well... Great. Dragon bone. Here's a question. Probably an impolite one, but how old are you exactly? Right about two of the three. You know your mother has dragon bones down there. How do you talk to the gods? All life is a song, gentle one. To hear the echoes of the gods, you must listen without using your ears. Does the hunter have a song? Yes. All things do. Even you do. You know, I bet I'd make a half-decent alchemist if not for the fact that I won't touch plants. Green packed and all that. If 
one might wonder why a vampire adheres to the Green Pact, but here we are. Sorry, tucking myself again. Alright. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Well, what else are we gonna do? Why not? Okay, here goes. You don't really have to bite it. I thought one of my ancestors. Jeez. Jeez. The the Incredible. <laughs> Man, Arden is gonna just... Incredible. Simply incredible. You, uh... Anything you can tell me before we head in there? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion. The realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. I would ask why your mother's so fascinated by it, but... Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. That would be my assumption as well. I'm ready when you are. Well, here goes something.